Hello, party people. Um, excuse the look, um, and excuse this, whatever that is. Um, I just got back from a run, and I got home from work, and I immediately got changed and went on a run because if I don't don't do it as soon as I get home, I'll just I just won't do it. So, um, I just got back, and I ran. So, spoiler. I have never really been a very good runner. Um, I've just, as a kid, I hated running. And as an adult, because I hated it as a kid, I didn't want to run, even though I've tried multiple times, but I could never stick with it. For some reason, like in August, I had this like desire to want to try and start it again and get better. And I've been pretty regularly training since August. Um, which is incredible. <laughs> I mean, there have been some weeks in between um, where I didn't go jogging, but I try to stick to every other day just to make sure there's like some consistency in there. And um, I went out today and I ran for five minutes continuously for the first time in my life. And for those of you who are normal joggers, or are more athletic than I am, um, that's like nothing to you. But to me, I've never, maybe as a kid, I don't know, as a kid I would have never timed my runs or playing, I guess. I am very, very proud of myself. Um, I'm still trying to build up to a point where I can run a mile uh, without stopping. And that's gonna be a big achievement for me because I have never done that before. Um, but anyways, it has nothing to do with this video. Um, I wanted to start posting more regularly on my channel. And so I figured one way to do that is like once a week, I'll do one of my like themed videos. Um, like the ones that probably for me would take more time to create um, their like bigger projects. But the ones, the other ones that I'm gonna start doing now are gonna be my reading vlogs. Because I do, I don't know if I want to be 100% a part of the booktube world, but I definitely want to have my own little corner in there, as at least. I figured I'd start doing reading vlogs and take you along with me throughout my week and just kind of update, update you on my progress of what I'm reading, how that's going, what I think of the books, and a little snippets of my day-to-day -day life. And um, yeah, so today's Monday. And I figured I'd start off with a Monday, end it on a Sunday, and then upload this video sometime middle of next week, so maybe like a Tuesday or Wednesday next week. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stretch a little bit and then um, have some dinner. And then um, I will show you my TBR, my to be read for this month, and um, show you what I'm planning on doing for the coming months for that. So, see you in a bit. to introduce firstly two books that I'm definitely going to be reading this month and those will be first The Night Circus um, in my spooky book haul I mentioned that I got this this I think last month and um, it didn't make the cut of spooky books I wanted to read before Halloween but um, it's still an autumnal read so autumn is still in November, or November is still in autumn, 
So I decided I will take this book with me this year and read it. So this is just gonna be my next book that I'm gonna be starting today. The second book is one I just ordered, I just got today, and it's part of a book club that I'm a part of, and we are reading The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Now, I have to prelude this by mentioning that when I start new books, when I read new books, I never know anything about them before I start reading them. Sometimes I'll know like the general theme, but more than that, truly couldn't tell you. I think I know, I think this is like a th mystery thriller genre. I'm not 100% sure. For this video clip, I will read the back of the book for you to tell you what it's about, but I normally don't do that for myself. <laughs> You know, it'd probably just be easiest if I just read it aloud to you. Under the influence of their charismatic classics professor, a group of clever, eccentric misfits at an elite New England college discover a way of thinking and living that is a world away from the humdrum existence of their contemporaries. But when they go beyond the boundaries of normal morality, their lives are changed profoundly and forever. Now this does remind me, I heard that this book was like the starter of the dark academia aesthetic in books. So set in a New England University College dark, think of leather bound books and plaid skirts, I don't know, lots of candles, skulls, that kind of thing. I think that's the vibe that we're going for. Excited to read this one as well. And um, I have a lot of books on my bookshelf that I haven't read yet. And I'm really trying to make sure that I'm get good at reading the books I already have um, instead of just buying new ones. So um, I'm listed all of the books that are unread on my bookshelf and put them on little scraps of paper. I could have done this a lot more nicely, put it on Word and made it into a nice font and printed it out, but I just didn't do that. So maybe next time. <laughs> so um, my goal is to do five books a month. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that, but I'll give it a go. Um, if it's not five, then I'll try four. So since I already have two, then I'm gonna try and draw three. I do know there's some books in here that are not on my bookshelf, but they are sequels that are in the library. So some of them I'll have to go to the library for. There is one book in particular that is Voyager, the third book in the Outlander series. If I ever draw that book, I will not draw anything else. <laughs> and that is because it is over a thousand pages and I don't think I would mentally be able to do any other book that month. And so I'm just saying now, if the book that I draw is Voyager, I'm not pulling anything else out of here. So that's just the rules. So here we go. Book number three, I guess. Daisy Jones and the Six. I'm really excited that I pulled that book. I bought that book last year um, because it was all over TikTok and a lot of booktubers were recommending it. Only heard positive things about it. And it's been sitting on my bookshelf for a year and I now finally get to read it. So let me go grab it. All right, here it is. All right, so I'll read the back for you. Everyone knows Daisy Jones and The Six. Their albums were on every turntable, they sold out arenas from coast to coast, their sound defined an era. And then, on the 12th of July, 1979, they split. Nobody ever knew why, until now. The only thing that's certain is that from the moment Daisy Jones walked, barefoot, onto the stage at the Whiskey, the band were irrevocably changed. This is the story of their incredible rise and fall, the ambition, the desire, the heartbreak, and the music. Everyone was there. Everyone remembers it differently. Ooh, that sounds exciting. I love the setting. I um, am a big fan of 70s bands and that whole era, so that's gonna be a really fun read. Very excited. All right, book number four. I'm gonna really get in there. We Were Liars. Ooh, I'm really getting good books. I'm really excited. Because <laughs> there are some books that are on my bookshelf that I want to read. I'm just like not super excited about it. 
but I'm getting ones that I am excited about. Okay, let me go get We Were Liars. So this book has been out for a while now, a couple of years. Um, I've also only heard good things about it. Is there even like a Netflix thing? <clears throat> or like a, I don't know. I can't remember, I'll have to look that up. For some reason I think there's like a movie or a TV series out about this. Probably not, but I don't know. Let me read the back. If anyone asks you how it ends, just lie. We are Sinclairs. We live, at least in the summertime, on a private island off the coast of Massachusetts. Perhaps it is all you need to know, except that some of us are liars. Ooh, mystery, thriller. Other than like a mystery, I don't really know what other kind of genre this would be. Maybe like a drama? I don't know. New York Times bestseller, so it's gotta be good, right? Um, the last New York Times bestseller I read, I think, was When the Crawdads Sing. Man, what is that book called? I can't remember. But that book. Um, and nor it was I knew it was like a very adult f fiction, and I wasn't sure if I was ready for adult books yet, but I read it and I really enjoyed it. So um, I'm kind of excited to get to this one as well. All right, the last book. This is kind of getting to be a thick stack, and I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. But uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get an easy one. All right, next one is the sacred echo um i think that is a non-fiction book a christian book that i have i think i've had it for over 10 years easy um i'm not exactly sure what it's about let me go grab it this is the sacred echo um and i believe it's about hearing god's voice um i'm kind of in a deconstruction phase of my faith right now so um i'm very touchy when it comes to books about faith there are some books um that i bought this last year that kind of go on the subject of what i'm going through right now um this is not one of them but um those are two nonfiction books um spiritual books that i'm more excited to read but i I'm the type of person that doesn't like to throw away books before I've read them, so I figured I might as well just read it while it's still on my bookshelf. Let me read the back. You've probably experienced it. The same theme, idea, impression, or lesson will, will repeat itself in surprising and unexpected ways until you realize that maybe, just maybe, God is at work. As you learn to listen for the sacred echoes, God's persistent voice in your life, you can walk more confidently and fully into all that he has for you. The sacred echo challenges you to prayerfully consider how God is at work in your life, as well as in the lives of those around you. It's an invitation to spiritual awakening and a deeper relationship with God. Okay, so off the bat, this sounds like a non-religious take um, on God. So, and what I mean by non-religious, I mean non-conservative, black and white, that kind of thing. I think this is really more, more of a loosey-goosey spiritual book. Um, but I don't know, who knows? We'll see, I'll give it a try. Oh, it's even, it's even signed. I did not even know this. It's signed by the author. <laughs> so, here's the good old stack for November. It's thick. Um, I mean, this one's thin, which is nice, and I usually get through nonfiction books more quickly than I do fiction books, but these ones are all over 300 pages, so <laughs> uh, we'll see how I do. Yeah, but I'm just gonna take it easy, see how we get on, and uh, I'll keep you updated. Good morning. Today's Tuesday, and um, I'm heading to work an hour later than I normally do, um, and since I woke up still at the normal time that I normally do. Um, I have some extra time to get some reading done, about 40 minutes. So um, I started this last night. I really like it so far. I don't, I can't explain what is making me want to turn the page. I just think it's really well written. And um, I just don't have any other words for it right now. Uh, but let me read a little bit and I'll show you guys.
welcome back to my couch. Um, I just got home from work and um, did a little bit of laundry and it's already 6.30. <laughs> I had a long day at work today. It was kind of stressful, um, but I think it ended out fine. So um, I'm, I'm glad to be home and I'm probably gonna get something to eat and then um, I texted my friend um, to see if she would want to play Animal Crossing with me later. So I'll see if she's available today to do that. And if she replies, then I'll get on Animal Crossing and play with her for a little while. The update is coming soon. Really excited about that. Then I'll probably just be reading tonight. I like the Night Circus so far. Um, there's still just little hints of what might be happening, not sure yet, but I definitely get that feeling of I want to continue reading and I want to know more about what's happening. So just the fact alone that I have a desire to continue reading rather than like, I don't know, turning on Netflix says a lot. So it's going in the direction of a five star read, but we'll see. Don't want to pressure myself or the book. We'll see. I go to work a little bit later today. Um, on Wednesdays, I normally only work about five hours. So um, I am planning on going in around 12.30, 12.45ish. Um, I normally don't work, I don't, normally don't go to work that late, but because I am currently um, training someone who's new, she can only come at specific times. So I'm coming in later today so she can come when she needs to. So, and it's currently about 11.15, so I have about an hour until I need to leave the house. And I didn't get to as much reading yesterday because I had a really good chat with a good friend of mine, played some Animal Crossing together, which was fun. And then the time just flew by because I got home late again yes last night and I read a little bit, but then I went to sleep because I was really tired. And um, then this morning I've just been getting ready painted my nails, ate some breakfast, and now I'm just trying to fill the time until I have to go to work. Normally I would go to work on my bike. It's a beautiful day. Um, I would normally be riding my bike to work, but for the past couple of weeks I've had some really, really intense shoulder pain. Um, and it hasn't been until like Monday. Since Monday, it's been a lot better. But I'm trying to stay away from using my bike because it does put a lot of pressure on my shoulder um, when you're like leaning on it. So um, I just want to give myself the rest of the week to just relax and heal. So I'm not going to be riding my bike to work today. The past couple of days Misha's been taking me to work which with the car which has been really nice. But he has to work today so that's why I'm probably just going to take the bus in. And... Yeah, so I'm just gonna read for a bit, drink up my tea, and then head to work. Okay, I just stopped reading because I have to get going pretty soon. I'm now on page um, 151 out of like 500. <laughs> um, and I'm, I like the story. I'm just really confused on who people are and the timeline. Um, dates are, it's not chronological. So years are just kind of thrown in between. And there are like other storylines that are happening at once. And I can't get behind it right now. I mean, I think I've got two storylines down. I, there might be more, I don't know. <laughs> But um, I don't get the magic part of the circus yet, how it works. I mean, I'm assuming more will be revealed. 
um, in the time to come, but um, it's interesting for sure, and I'm definitely it's easy to read, which is nice. Um, but I find when I don't understand a chapter or like the storyline that I'm currently reading, then I kind of zone out, and then I don't remember what exactly I read. I'm hoping that changes soon. I think I'm just focusing on work right now, so who knows? Let me go get ready, and then I'll head out. Hello. Um, I am currently in the car looking for um, a place to park because Misha is at the doctor's office, and um, he's getting an operation done that he can't drive afterwards, so I just dropped him off, and I was gonna look for like a free parking spot somewhere to read, but it's turning out to be more challenging than I thought. Um, <laughs> I can't find a place to park, and I'm standing in a line of backed up cars, and I don't know if I should turn around, and um, what's happening, I don't know. But, um, I was just gonna find a place, read for a bit. Who knows? We'll see. I'll keep you updated. Hello, everybody. Um, I have not really been in the mood to film, um, that much yesterday or today. Because, um, man, I, um, kind of pinched a nerve in my neck yesterday and it is super painful and that combined with my shoulder pain right now is kind of debilitating and I feel sort of paralyzed. Can you speak a little bit? What? No, I am Anyways, as I was saying, um, I just feel sort of paralyzed in my pain. I just like really don't have the energy or the muscle capacity to do anything today um, because every move, every slight turn in my head, I have just shoots pain down through my neck and spine, which is fun. I am still trying to debate on if I want to finish up my YouTube video that's planned for tomorrow. There was a video idea that I had that I wanted to film. I actually wanted to film it yesterday, but I didn't get to it because the new Animal Crossing update came out. Um, so I've been spending a lot of hours on that. I think with my neck pain, it might be easier to do a pre-filmed video that I've had in my folders for a while. There's just one thing I have to like finish the video. Um, and to do that, I have to like go to the store and buy some um, stuff to be able to finish it. So I'm still just kind of weighing things out. I think I might just wait until after lunch and then see how it goes. But in the meantime, um, I'm gonna try and take a break from Animal Crossing and get back to reading because I didn't read that much yesterday just because, like I said, Animal Crossing update came out and it's insane. Um, so I've just been playing a lot of Animal Crossing, especially this morning. But um, while my switch is charging, I'm just going to uh, read a little bit and yeah, wait for lunch. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's hot. Thank you. Hello. It is a couple of weeks later since I first started filming this video. There are multiple reasons for that. Um, one of which is I was going through really intense shoulder pain that was fairly debilitating, <laughs> to say the least. Kind of made me feel sick and um, I was not sleeping well and I was not feeling great in general. And so it was hard to find the motivation or the will to not only to live, but also to film. So I stopped filming sometime around a Friday I started on a Monday, I think I stopped somewhere around Friday. And then Misha got tested positive for COVID. So we were staying home. The whole daylight savings time hits me like a train every year. And so I really feel like shit when it does. And um, as soon as it's dark outside, I just can't do anything. <laughs> I kept thinking about picking up my camera and filming certain things 
but I just like was not feeling motivated. Just wanted to give my some time, myself some time to relax and just rest for a couple of weeks. And so I did that. I'm feeling better now. Um, Misha is still has to quarantine. I don't. Today, right now as I'm filming this, it is our sixth wedding anniversary, which is very exciting. Um, I was really hoping that we could do something fun today, but we can't. We get to stay at home. We're trying to make the best of it. We already had breakfast and bread. <laughs> breakfast and bread breakfast in bed this morning um misha is working on making some burgers for us and um i did my hair to spruce it up a little bit and now i'm going to finish filming a youtube video that i filmed a while ago i think in june i started filming this video um, I didn't finish it because it didn't look exactly like how I wanted it to. So I got some things a couple of weeks ago to finish it. I'm going to do that now while it's still somewhat light outside. And then I'm just going to read. I'll Once I get to reading, I'll get back on here, let you know what I've been reading and how it's been going. But for now, I'm just going to go film. Hey, I just got finished filming my vision board video. Um, it's hanging up now. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I just had to correct some things and put thicker paper on the back because I just had normal paper and it was starting to curl and wouldn't hang and flip and flop everywhere. But now I have it to a place where I like it. Um, today is Saturday and I will film tomorrow as well. Um, there's really not a lot to film right now because I'm just at home and have been the past couple of weeks because I don't like to do anything without Misha. He really is my best friend, my other half, and I love spending time with him. And because I don't really have a ton of friends here in Leipzig yet, um, I don't really want to go out and do things by myself. And yeah, it's just the winter time and it's getting so dark already. And it's like not even four o'clock. <laughs> But I figured I would come back on here and update you on my reading since that was the last thing basically that I filmed. I was reading The Night Circus and let me just open up my Goodreads because I tend to forget, once I've moved on to another book, I tend to forget what I just read. And so going on to Goodreads will help me remember what it is um, I read and what I thought about it. So. I finished The Night Circus um, maybe, I, th I think it was last weekend because we were staying at home, we were quarantining and I didn't really have anything else to do. So I just decided to read through a bunch of books and um, I made great progress. So The Night Circus was a bit of a downer for me. It was a good book. I just couldn't really get into it. It wasn't a page turner for me. I don't know, I think I just, I don't really like fantasy books. Um, I mean, there are some that I do like, but if it's just like a different magical world, apart from Harry Potter, um, because Harry Potter is a nostalgia thing. Anything new, I just can't get into these like magical worlds. So let me read to you what I wrote as a review on Goodreads. I gave it three out of five stars. And I said, this was a hard one for me to rate. I liked the book, I liked the story because it's very original and you can't guess what is going to happen. I just found the timelines very confusing and the general concept. It was hard for me to concentrate. But I like the characters and the romance, but apparently I'm not into super thought out fantasy. Since this is my second Morgenstern book that ended up being a bit disappointing, I might not read another one of hers for a while. I just don't think that that genre is for me. Um, the Starless Sea was also a hard one for me to get into. Um, I just can't concentrate during those books. I don't know why. Um, but I did like the overall concept of the book. I would recommend, and it wasn't as autumnal as I was really hoping it to be. I mean, there were like little paragraphs here and there explaining the autumnal setting, but it wasn't enough for me to really consider an autumnal book. But no, that's okay. The second book I read was the Sacred Echo, and I was kind of torn on that book because it is a Christian book. Um, I, as I have already mentioned, um, once I pulled 
the book out that um, I don't know how much as I was going to be able to get into that book because I'm kind of going through my own um, deconstruction of my past faith. This is what I wrote. I gave it three out of five stars and I even wrote, I'm being a bit generous with the third star. This book was hard for me to read because of the constant give up everything for God even when it hurts theme. That's one of the themes that led me to the deconstruction of my faith. I did however like the thought of just living my own personal spiritual life in communication with God without looking at what others are doing in their journeys. That's something I'm still working on, but maybe one day I will get back into prayer with God. So it was really just about prayer, um, but not in the sense of I'm praying, but more of listening for God's voice in my life. I was really excited to dive into We Were Liars. I was kind of nervous because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not, but I loved it. I gave it five out of five stars and I wrote, that's it. <laughs> After a long list of not reading five star books, I have come to the conclusion that contemporary reads are my favorites. Anything with a plot twist will become my favorite. And I've always been intrigued with these like East Coast wealthy American families because I'm, I have been watching Gilmore Girls for over 10 years on repeat. I love the intrigue of the book and just the general like what happened? I thought I knew what had happened um, until I came to the plot twist of the book and I realized I was very very wrong. My jaw literally dropped. I had to like close the book, set it aside for a second, take a breather <laughs> and think for a second and I was just blown away because I did not see it coming but now when I like think about if I were to reread the book there are hints where I would would have been like oh well yeah I get it but reading it at the time just flew right over my head. This story will stay with me for a while, I think. Very good book. The last book I read was Daisy Jones and the Six. Ugh, I don't even have words for this book. <laughs> five out of five stars, a thousand out of five stars. Um, I'm pretty sure it has become my favorite book of all time, and that is saying something. I grew up watching MTV and VH1, even as a young child, probably when I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> and um, I loved watching documentaries about bands and I still love that doing that today. Um, even watching The Dirt on Netflix about Motley Crue turned me into a Motley Crue fan. I don't know, it's something about rock bands and documentaries about them, it just gets me excited. And this book was just that. It was like I was watching a VH1 documentary about a band an interview and I love the format. I don't believe it's for everyone, but I love the format of everyone just answering and telling stories about things that had happened when they were a band. And um, the characters felt so real. Like there were so many points where, throughout the book where I was like, I need to Google this. I need to see pictures of them. I need to hear these songs. I need to watch videos of them because they just seem like so such real people and things that like really happened. <sighs> I'm praying for a movie <laughs> out of this book because it's like A Star Is Born, but it's not. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. It's definitely a book I would probably reread again. I loved it, loved it. I'm now currently reading The Secret History. Um, this is the last bo book that I pulled out of the jar for this month. So I'm making really good progress. However, this book is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's not as thick when you look at it, um, so you wouldn't guess that it's like 600 pages or over 600 pages, but it is because the pages are super thin. Um, it's a floppy book. I like that, but um, the length is always so int intimidating to me. I'm never sure if I can finish <laughs> books that long because I just know that it'll take a long time and I don't really have the patience to take a while on books. I like to just devour them as quickly as possible just to get the feeling that I read a book. But um, that's where we're at on that book. Um, I'm probably on like page 70. I like it. I don't love it yet. It's just telling the story of a guy at a college and some rich people and this like weird professor, not weird, but 
has an interesting standard for students um, where he only has like five students at a time and you have to like be his student throughout the whole time you're at this college. So it's interesting, um, but the chapters are long. Um, I'll probably read a little bit today. Misha's, like I said, working on burgers and um, I kind of want to play a board game tonight just to do something fun. That's something that we don't normally do, like we normally watch TV or whatever. But I do want to do something a little bit different tonight, so I'm going to have to clean off <laughs> our dining room table. So I think I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to light some candles, read, wait for Misha until Misha's done. It's going to be the rest of our anniversary today. Hey there, <clears throat> today is Sunday, um, the 21st. It's like not even four o'clock. So I just got back from a walk to just kind of get out of the house. I, Cause I really haven't been out of the house since Thursday. <laughs> um, and I just needed to take a breather for a second and just move my body a little bit. So last night was so, so fun and so nice. And we just had really good food and um, just hung out, went to bed, and woke up this morning. I wanted to show you um, the gift that I got from Misha, and it's this beautiful, like absolutely stunning wood piece that a local artist here in Leipzig made for us. Well, not for us, she made it, and I or bought it. <laughs> and I thought it looked so much more like Misha and myself, because the guy has a mustache and she has long hair and I don't know, they're about the same height. <laughs> That's the only way I'm judging that. Um, but I love, love, love this piece so much. I think it's gorgeous and we still have to hang it up. It's gonna go on our wall above our dining room table because we have a like black and white and wood theme going and this fits perfectly and I'm so thankful for it. It's so beautiful. Thank you to um, the lady who made it for us. I just spent the day today pretty much working on my YouTube video that just went up today, my vision board video. Yeah, so I'm just going to drink my apple juice <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the evening reading The Secret History. I've been avoiding it the past couple of days. I don't, I hate that I, I hate when I avoid reading books. It's just long books that I avoid reading, and this is a long one, so I'm gonna make some progress because I know that'll make me feel better, and hopefully I'll really get into it. just gotten to chapter 3 I'm on page 115 and the plot is starting to pick up a little bit I mean it's still giving me a lot of background info on all of our characters but um, it's getting somewhere there's some weird things going on with these other students but you don't know anything yet <laughs> so that's something we're still gonna find out about but I do realize like the more that I read the more that I really do enjoy the writing style and it is fairly easy to read there are some foreign languages tucked in here and there French or Latin <laughs> where 
I've had to like go on Google and translate them to figure it out because I don't want to like miss things. Um, but I really do love her sense of detail and describing the setting and it really does fit that dark academia aesthetic and I don't know I really like it so far um, but it is taking me a while to read I read about like over 50 maybe like 60 pages and it took me like two hours <laughs> to do that which is kind of a long time so um, I'm gonna continue reading a little bit but I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you in my vlog.